Hello all, in this video we will be building and looking at the differences between the LEGO 40th Anniversary Set 4370 and the original 7810 that this is based on. 4370 has 184 pieces, 44 of which are the base. Therefore the LOCO has 140 pieces, whereas the original only has 92. So 4370 has 48 extra pieces and during this build we should be able to see where those extra pieces go. Anyway, the train containing our Lego sets is just arriving now so very soon we can start the build. Now that the parcels have been safely unloaded, it's time for us to take them inside and start the build. So my son will be building 4370 and I will be building 8710. Here we go. And there you have it, both locos fully built. As you can see, they do look very similar and built almost identically, with only a few changes to more modern bricks. Just need to add the stickers and they are complete. So now they're totally finished, let's take a look at the differences. Firstly the base, lovely simple design using those extra 44 pieces. Now let's look at the locos themselves. Well, LEGO has done a fantastic job of keeping the anniversary set as true to original as possible, making changes only where necessary due to the parts no longer being made. These, of course, being the wheels and the red train base. Fortunately, though, LEGO has reintroduced the red wheels back in 2010 for the Toy Story train 7597 and more recently in the Winter Holiday train 10254 and the Disney train 71044. The train base, however, was stopped back in 1991 when the 12 volt grey era ended. Regardless though, I thought the brick built one was cleverly done. The only other visible difference from the side are the change of window style, as the old windows were discontinued back in 2003. It is also worth pointing out the difference in the stickers. From the mid 70s until the end of the grey era at the start of the 90s, Lego trains came with a sticker pack of various different countries railways these included germany's db france's sncf and britain's br logo however with the introduction of the nine volt in the 90s lego produced their own logo for their trains which barring models of real trains such as the bnsf santa fe and mask they have kept for all their trains and therefore is seen represented here on 4370. Now from the front. Other than the base and buffers, the only difference is the tile where the sticker sits, which I think is a nice little addition. The only other difference is the lack of a magnetic coupling. In 2009, Lego changed their couplings to comply with new EU laws so they now have to come as a complete sealed unit. For the rear the only difference is the addition of the tile and sticker which personally I think works if the loco is on display but not if it's a running loco. The top however throws up a very odd difference and one that made me check I had built my 7810 correctly. 4370 has three one by one round bricks on the roof whereas 7810 only has two and one one by one brick which has left me wondering why. Lastly the underneath which has the most noticeable differences due to the wheels 
but they have still kept the overall look very close to the original. All that's left now is to bring the completed locos out of the shed. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you found it interesting to see the differences. If you'd like to see us build any more Lego train sets in our shed, then just comment below with the set number or a description. Bye for now.